If you are interested in receiving a free Bible, make sure you contact me. God bless you. My feelings. My feelings. This is how I feel. Okay. When someone is teaching you about the truth of the Bible, if your feelings are against what the Bible is about, your feelings doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't. And some people may get angry about that, whatever. Don't you know that our feelings can get us into trouble? Don't you know that our feelings are very deceptive? Don't you know that demons can manipulate our feelings? So you are going on and trusting in something that is being manipulated by demons. You can be deceived by the way that you feel. So when someone is telling you the truth about the Bible, well, Kevin, I feel like blah, 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 blah. But you see the truth. How long have you been following your feelings? Based upon that, how many mistakes have you made based upon following your feelings? I know for myself, I know for myself, when I follow my feelings and not what the Bible says, almost every single time I get into trouble. Almost every single time. And it took me years <laughs> to figure out, Kevin, stop following your feelings. Go by the word of God. But sometimes we are so stubborn, so selfish, I guess you can say so ignorant, that we continue to do what is wrong even though we know that it is wrong. Because I guess in our crazy brains, sometimes doing the wrong things gives us comfort, but at the same time, it gives us pain. <laughs> so you feel comfort and pain, <laughs> which is crazy. It is so crazy. Your feelings mean nothing. If my feelings are not based upon the Bible, my feelings mean nothing. It is actually hurting me more if I follow my feelings. So I need to reject my feelings and base everything upon what the Bible says. I pray that this is making sense. Your feelings can be manipulated. So in saying that, <laughs> how do you know the way that you are feeling now is actually coming from you? Well, Kevin, ever since I was a child, no. Demons. Demons. There is only life and death. So your feelings are either coming from God or demons. <laughs> so simple. So if your feelings are not right, guess what? It is coming from demons. So when you base your feelings, or when you base everything, I guess you can say, on your feelings, you are setting yourself up for destruction. <laughs> Your feelings mean nothing. 
if it does not coincide with what the Bible is saying. Stop placing so much importance in your feelings because it means nothing, nothing, nothing. Do you know how much trouble I would get in daily <laughs> if I followed my feelings? Don't you know that so many demonic thoughts at times clouds my mind where I have to pray to clear my mind. I am telling you, what if I was crazy enough to follow my feelings solely? My life would be so much crazier <laughs> that I would be depressed and probably suicidal every single day. And some people may be that way. Why? Because you are following your feelings. Back in 2007, I followed my feelings. I am never going to forget <laughs> 2007. Never, 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 never. I was so foolish, so silly. I followed my fear, I followed my doubt, I followed my insecurities, destruction. <laughs> so many problems. But when I started to rely on what the Bible says, my life got better. Yes, some demons may do whatever, blah, 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 but from then to now, huge difference, big time difference. So when you say that your feelings matter, no, they don't. Your feelings are not an asset. <laughs> it is a liability, a liability, if I am saying that right, liability. So let me stop right here. God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.